From across the globe, this is Stan Banterman bringing you the most popular science, tech, and current affairs news direct from Twitter, Mind Warp. This week we find out how your butt nuggets could keep you safe in space, why North Korea hates hippies, and how a superhero may have delivered you a takeout. First up, I'm happy to announce that size officially does not matter. New research by universities in Madrid and LA has confirmed that although women's brains are 8% smaller than men's, they operate more efficiently. Good things come in small packages. Female brains approximately 8% smaller than male brain. Tell me something common sense doesn't reveal. Brains of women are 8% smaller than men's. You should use that as an icebreaker on your next blind date. The ladies excel at complicated tasks by using less energy and fewer neurons than men. But as you girls know, it's not the brain that's important, but the fabulous hair that's on top. But hairstyle choices for the good citizens of North Korea are a tad limited. This week, reports suggest that they may have a brush with the law if they don't conform to the 18 hairstyles for women and 10 for men that have been chosen by communist officials in an attempt to curb Western influences. Wow, state-imposed haircut. Okay, that's just wrong. Hair freedom rules! So basically, you're committing a crime for going bald. Back in 2005, North Korean state TV actually launched a five-part series entitled Let Us Trim Our Hair in Accordance with Socialist Lifestyle. The program even claimed that long hair would rob the male brain of energy. Next up, multi-millionaire space tourist Dennis Tito, along with the project Inspiration Mars have announced their plan to send a married couple in their 50s on a round trip to the Red Planet. But researchers say that to combat the danger of cosmic radiation on the 501 day trip, the lucky pair may have to line the walls of the craft with bags of their own feces. Poo! Reaching new heights! A crappy idea? Dirty protesters wanted for Mars mission! Experts say that bags of brown colon cobras make for the perfect radiation shielder. And besides, what holiday isn't complete without hanging sacks of your own excrement around the hotel room? Finally, as an antidote to the sad news that this is the penultimate episode of Mind Warp, we found out this week that Batman was alive and fighting crime in the UK. Unfortunately, all was not as it seemed in the new viral video. The masked man, who appeared to be bringing a criminal into a Bradford police station, was not actually the caped crusader, but a Chinese takeaway delivery man named Stan Warby. Stan was actually giving a friend a ride to the station to hand himself in for fraud charges. Tweeters seem to be particularly amused by the fake superhero's sizable paunch. Holy beer belly! Can't believe after all these years Batman turns out to be a fat bloke from Bradford. Man dresses as Batman, hands a thief over to police, gets home in time for dinner, 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 dinner. Mr. Warby is outraged at these claims and says this extra bulk was caused not by his girth, but by the full tracksuit underneath his costume. Yes, yes, totes whatever, Batman. Consider yourself mind warped. Until next time, keep tweeting, banter folk. This has been at Stan Banterman. Hashtag mind warp. Are you enjoying Head Squeeze? Is your head suitably squozen? If so, why not subscribe? It's down here, look.